Hi, I'm Aussie John from Big Game Hunter Australia. Today I'm going to share with you my water buffalo hunting safari in Australia's remote outback. Choosing a quality outfitter and a guide is important, no matter where you are located around the world. I choose Severn Safaris. I found them on the website under www.severnsafaris.com. Their website is full of relevant information from their buffalo camp, the climate, travel arrangements, hunting gallery, a hunting video, a great selection of safaris. Their safari rate page shows the different cost of safaris, like what's included. For example, like the transfers from Darwin to the Buffalo Camp are all taken care of by Mark from Severn Safaris and included in your rate. International hunters are well catered for, with a page linking to airlines and pre and post tours. Did you know that Qantas now fly direct from Dallas, Texas to Sydney, Australia and it's as simple as clicking on a link, filling in your details to get a quote. Once you have some dates in mind, select them. This gives you a period of 14 days on either side of your date to choose a price to suit your pocket. Select your return dates. You've given a quotation, you can then contact Mark Find out if the date's available and then book it on Qantas and your adventure begins. I live on the Gold Coast and it's a short drive to Brisbane Airport where I connected with Qantas to fly to Darwin. Severn Safaris book your Air North connection departing from Darwin to Manangrida. It's a short stop over in Manangrida. Reboarding and then it's off to Alco Island. As I said earlier, Severn Safaris books your charter flight and also the charter from Alco Island to the Buffalo Camp. It's all included in the rate. There's nothing left for you to do. It's all taken care of. It wasn't long before we were up in the air and what a view. This is a, an adventure that I've been waiting for for years and years and years and now I was finally here. I was finally here to chase a big buffalo. Would I come home with one? That was the question. The floodplain stretches for miles. You can see the ocean, the rivers, the floodplains, canopies of trees, water holes, billabongs. You can imagine the crocs, I wasn't going to be going swimming there. It wasn't long before we touched down on the bush airstrip and Mark picked me up. After a shower and some lunch, we headed out to have a little bit of what's in store for the next few days. There were hundreds of buffalo feeding out on the floodplains. I could not believe there were this many buffalo. I was so excited to be here. I feel the adrenaline building. Big buffalo. Mark showed us how you gauge the size of a big buff. We covered quite a few kilometres that afternoon. Big buffalo, saltwater flats, buffalo in the bush. Even a few dingoes hoping for a feed. We had it all here. We even had a chance to get out on the water. Pulled up a few mud crabs for lunch. They were great. Later on we even had a chance to wet a line. And it wasn't long before I landed a barrow. How good's that? We had it for dinner. We headed back to camp as we had an early start. The next morning, we wanted to beat the heat. After breakfast, we found ourselves out on the plains. We even had a race with a mob of pigs. Man, I just wanted to get out and bowl a few over with my 375 H&H. &H. But I controlled myself as a big buffalo could have been around the next swamp. 
feral hogs are a problem no matter where they are around the world and we nailed a few later on in the trip. We saw lots of big buffalo that afternoon. Take a look at this big fella. Mark estimated that he was around 108 to 110. He was a beaut. But I'd seen a big buff the day before that had more mass. And he was the one I wanted to go back and set my sights on. We made our way back to the place that we'd been the day before. We had a tidal creek to cross in the Toyota Land Cruiser. And as soon as we crossed that creek, the tempo changed. We're in big buffalo country. I was here to get a big buffalo. The question is, would I find my buffalo and bring him home? There were lots of wallows and mud holes. We left the car and we made a stalk for about a quarter of a mile. My heart started pounding faster as I set my sights on the big buffalo and squeezed off a 300 grain projectile. It was a good hit. It was all over in a matter of seconds. I was elated to say the least. I couldn't believe the size of this buffalo, just how big he was. And that 300 grain projectile, we secured that from the other side of the buff. What an awesome job the 375 H&H did. And what a big animal they are. Mark had done a great job putting me onto a big buffalo. We'd only been here for three days and my big beast was down. Mark estimated him around the 106 safari that made him a gold medal. Next morning the plane had arrived as scheduled. All my gear was put on board and it was back to Darwin. I had a couple of nights in Darwin because there's lots of things there to do and then it was a flight back to Brisbane. What a great time I had. This is an adventure that I can recommend, a true blue Aussie outback adventure. Oh, and by the way, Severn Safaris also hunt Rusa deer, fallow deer and chittle deer. You can see their details and photos on their website. To contact Severn Safaris, it's as simple as click on the contact page, complete the form with your details and questions, and Mark will contact you. He's a great outfitter. It's a great business. He'll look after you. SevernSafaris.com